throw it at home. There's my bike up there. Okay, bring it out, please. Okay. Don't look at my password. And there's Street's bike under mine. We just got back from the market. I'll show you. Right. Hi, Divi. We got here a lavender plant, which was two euro. Smells really, really good. Mm. Yeah. Four sesame buns from a bakery in the market. Feeling fresh, feeling firm, let's see. Oh yeah, that's squishy. We got, what kind of mushrooms? Uh, in German, Pfifferlinge, and I think they're chanterelles in English. Chanterelle mushrooms, 100 grams for two euro something. The raspberries. Two or three euro, I think. A little box of raspberries for two or three euros. This will be done in two seconds. Mm. A lot of meat mm, from the butcher. We got Kesa sausage. It has a uh, Emmentaler in the middle and sausage on the outside. So that's gonna go with our buns. We're gonna have that probably now for lunch because I'm starving. And that was five euro, I think. Mm -hmm. Five euro for four for the day. And then we got a bunch of salami. It was the end of the roll, so we paid for this much salami, and we got the end free. Mm -hmm. I think that was four euro. Four euro. I want to try it. Tim, you want to try some spicy Even salami? less, I think. It's only $1.50 for 100 gram. Yeah, $1.50. Tibby, down. Let's see. Mmm, really good. Here we have chimichurri spice, which would be really good on steaks and different meats. And then we also got um, jerk chicken spice and chin gavurs. We hope it's jerk chicken. Now that I think of it, where's the chili? You can probably already see it in my face, but this was absolutely just chicken spice, it's not jerk chicken. Yeah, I'm sure. It might, it might just be chicken spice though. We're having a BBQ. Let's see. Post. Post. Ketchup and mustard and coleslaw for our sausage. And for dessert, we have some fruits. That's the one we got from the market. Hi, Tibby. And what Tibby cares about? The sausage. Here we have the buns from the market. And now we are grilling the sausage and the grilled cheese. So maybe this is weird, but I really thought you'd enjoy a tour of our fridge, freezer, and pantry. I did a lot of grocery hauls and I still like doing those, but this kind of gives you a better overview of what we actually have on hand at a given time. Um, lots of hot sauces. This is almost minus the mayo, a drawer full of hot sauces because we love it. Um, they're not so easy to find the ones exactly that you like. This curry ketchup, very, very common here. And this here is from the Korean store. It's a spicy pork bulgogi sauce, which is really, really good, but really, really big. Here we have some milk. I like this one because it lasts a really long time. Kikoman and our Brita. Some eggs. Um, what's this called? Yeast, fresh yeast. It was hard to find at first when we first moved here. And this, the best, Irish butter. The name brand Irish butter. This stuff is so good. And now let's get into the main part of the fridge. At the top shelf, we have more spicy sauce, some different pasta sauces, um, French dressing. I don't really like salad dressing here. I find them so boring and it's hard to find anything new or different. But anyway, we tried that one. Maple syrup, mustard. The best one is the medium mustard. Mm, really, really good. We have here some different kinds of pickles and tahina. And then here are some barbecue sauces that my mother-in-law sent us a little while ago. We're almost out of them, um, but they're really good. She gave them as a gift when we got our barbecue, which was really sweet. You have to get them from a special store with American stuff because this is not sold in the grocery store. Here we have some kimchi. I accidentally bought this one, which was, um, how do you call it? Radish kimchi, 
not cabbage like usual. Here we have um, cheese, I don't know what kind, Parmesan or something like this, a hard cheese, soft mozzarella. This is the best, those are like 50 cents for a giant ball. Um, fresh queza, which is like cream cheese, but smoother. And grow queza, which you saw in our barbecue. I love this stuff, it's like halloumi. Never mind that, it's a peanut sauce for summer rolls. Here we have weiss queza, which is like feta. And this is a pumpkin hummus. Trust me, it's really, really good. The pumpkin belongs in the hummus, in my opinion. And then here we have some different drinks. This is just cola and tonic water. Ooh, oh my god, it's gonna fall. So hard to do this one-handed. Okay. Oh, look. This is uh, Coke Zero, which looks different than it does in Canada. Here it looks like regular Coke, but in Canada it's usually like a black label. Thought you might find that interesting. And this is just beer. Um, yeah. Lots of different kinds of beer. I think maybe you saw in the barbecue we have a couple of cases of them because that's an easier way to buy them. They get delivered to your house. And just some lemon. Here we have smoked salmon, which I've already gotten into because it's one of my favorites. And um, <laughs> black forest ham but it's kind of in a prosciutto style. It's not the black forest ham that we'd expect in Canada, but it's really good. And then finally, let's get to the good stuff. Look at all these fruits and vegetables. I always clean them before putting them in the fridge with the exception of the lettuce, um, just because I'm more likely to eat them if I do that. Okay, here we're starting with some cherries. You can see we've already been in them. I love cherries. Some pears, which um, sometimes are good, sometimes are bland. It's hard to tell. I like these little mini cucumbers. Look, they look like pickles, but they're cucumbers. They don't taste like pickles. Mm, some peaches. I really like these peaches when they're good. They have to be soft. Um, they're donut peaches. I'm actually not sure if that's the name, but they look like donuts to me, and they're very sweet. And they always come in the sleeve. And here we have some grilling peppers. They're really, really big and funnily shaped, but they're so good. They're really sweet. They're not spicy at all, and I like them on the barbecue. Literally just put them on like that, and they taste really, really good. I also keep everything in their packaging or in a packaging because I find it easier to organize. Lemons and limes, grape tomatoes, which are really good, and these tomatoes, I don't know, tomatoes here look pretty, they look really perfect, but they don't have a lot of flavor and they're full of water. They're not great. I've been told you're supposed to get the smaller tomatoes, which is why I get the grape ones, but sometimes you need big tomato slices. Avocado, not ready yet. And here is the lettuce. I like getting these big romaines because I like to use the leaves as bread. <laughs> Like for wraps or for burgers or something like this, we've been cutting back on bread and pastas and stuff like this, so this has been really nice. And the reason I don't wash it is because I like to wash it fresh. Yeah, and those are the vegetables. So enough with the fridge, let's see what is in the freezer. I love that the freezer is in the bottom because you don't use it as often as the fridge. The first drawer is really boring, literally just all things ice, including ice packs and ice cubes. Here we're getting a little more interesting. We have these fake crab sticks um, for the summer rolls, really, really good. I mean, real crab would be better, but we're not on that budget. Here is more, mm hmm how do you call it, sausage with Emmentaler, Kesa sausage, Kesa first. Chicken wings, I've never tried these ones before, but I do like the Jack's Farm brand, which is from Aldi. Mm, a lot of our frozen stuff is from there, and it says Sharf, which is spicy, so I'll be the judge of that. And again, as I said, I like the Jack's Farm brand, the steaks are really good. And <laughs> another Jack's Farm brand. Can you tell I shop at Aldi? That is schnitzel. 
And here is some fish, mm, salmon. I was thinking of the word. And getting into the bottom drawer. Oh, okay. I guess I'm taking it out entirely. <laughs> um, here we have this XXL ground beef and pork. It's important to look at your package. They always have a picture of the animal, and it's very common here to mix pork and beef in these packages. Makes it cheaper. Of course, you can buy it with just beef, but take a look out for it. You'll actually see those animal pictures on all meat packages, which is cool. Here we have just some frozen veggie mix. Um, what's in there? Peas, eggplant, onions, green beans, I think. Honestly, I have no idea what's in here, but it's good. Carrots, peppers. I like to mix that with meat and then the bulgogi sauce. There I had just leftover chicken frozen. And here are sliced rice cakes. Ooh, we had ramen yesterday. I wish I would have remembered to put that in. And some edamame. And now let's move on to see what is in the cupboards, the pantry. Um, I really like the sliding drawer. Here we have our canned goods. Always have a lot of tomatoes for shakshuka, which is eggs and tomatoes. Um, some different sauces. That's a Korean sauce. And this is a pasta sauce. We have here fava beans for full. Our different dried foods like couscous and lentils to be snacks. Some roasted onions. What else? Honey, extra mayo because the one in the fridge is almost done. We have these um, rice sheets, which are really nice for, they said summer rolls, I think they're called. You just wrap them in vegetables and dip them in a spicy peanut sauce. This seaweed topping, which is really, really good. Seaweed with sesame and nori. Seaweed paper for more wraps. I'm not going to go through it, but here are the spices we have. Here you have some from the market that you saw, which as I said, was not jerk chicken, but still good. Here's another shopping mistake I made. I thought this was for an espresso, but it is clearly not. Um, so I'm going to give that away. Here is some balsamic dressing, but it's like a little bit thicker than just vinegar. It's really, really nice. We have the original and then this here is the raspberry flavored one, which is nice um, for certain things. Box full of coffee, teas, Brita filters, all that kind of stuff. Just random coffee and tea stuff going on to the desserts, which we shouldn't have, but we do have for snacks. I like these Hanudas because they're individually packed. These little mini um, biscottis, they're really, really good and they're on sale. And we have a lot of Nespresso pods, but we've actually transitioned over to a regular grinding full automatic coffee machine, which has really been nice. And I think we're gonna save a lot of money on pods and just try something new because Kind of gets old to try the same pods all over again and in this drawer we have rice cakes cooking oils uh, what else mm, baking supplies like cocoa powder chocolate mm, vinegars either balsamic or white vinegar this is baking soda sugar flour rose water and here i keep my onions and garlic some more cookies and stuff in there and here I have a watermelon I learned recently how to pick them you want them to be yellow and to be hollow sounding hollow sounding I already knew but the yellow I just learned here's some more cookies just like canudas a good for lunch I got this peanut butter recently you can buy it at the grocery store but it's with added sugar so I prefer to have just the natural peanut butter um, and this is also a much bigger container we have some pine nuts that are nice for roasting, some barbecue peanuts, pistachios, pretzels, rice cakes, and wasabi peas. So lots of good snack foods and just have to make sure we're not eating them all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, and I wanted to show you this milk. This is the same milk I had in the fridge, but this one is unopened. I really like here the milk that you don't have to refrigerate before opening because it just lasts forever and I don't drink a lot of milk. That's it.
and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. I'll see you next week. Hope you have a nice week. Bye.